I got this far into that and didn't thank my own wife, I'm going to hear about that. Forty thousand. It's a big deal to me. I'm super appreciative you guys choose to follow me and you like watching what I do. I know you guys could watch anyone. I know I'm competing with HBO, The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, and you guys will even watch me on a live stream. I mean, at this point, I'm gonna have to compete against the Super Bowl. That's gonna be brutal hard, but uh, we've grown a lot. I'm gonna put a link at the end to like one of the first videos in the fish room. I remember wearing a green shirt and just talking to you guys saying, I'm gonna start a fish room. And I remember when, you know, we built that rack and then we built this and it was that way for quite a while. And then we worked on that third one and it was that way for months and months and months. Uh, and then I think we built the Betta Barracks there, and then I think we started doing some totes in here. Right now, I'm working on doing tanks in the studio. You know, we've been through a lot together at this point. You know, a lot of videos, a lot of hours. I feel like if you guys were to come over, you could probably navigate through my fish room just from all the footage, you know? Like, you could probably piece it together and have a 3D rendering of this place. You know, just do about everything there is you can do. We put in this wall. You know, we've learned together. You know, I definitely have learned a lot over the, you know, the last basically two years. Um, lots of cool projects coming down the pipeline. I'm noticing new fry and stuff like that even today. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to servicing this tank, getting the clown lunches in there. Um, you know, and then what do we do at 50K? I don't know. I didn't plan for this. Like, I didn't, you know, I woke up this morning just kind of dirt to dirt and I go and I'm doing work and all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, I'm at 40K. Like, how did that slip up on me and not me not be like counting down the minutes? So uh, 50K, I don't know when it's gonna happen. Like I haven't done any math or anything like that, but what I know I do wanna do, I'm trying to work it out so I can attend the Chicago Aquatic Experience. I really do wanna do this time where we do like a taco get together, taco union, and uh, you know, hopefully Big Steen will be there, hopefully other YouTubers will be there, and hopefully we all just sit down, dominate a Mexican restaurant, and we get to uh, just say, we want all your tacos, and then they have to deliver them all. We eat them, have a good time, stay up late, go back to the hotel room, enjoy the aquatic experience. Sounds like a great time. I want to give props, KG Tropicals, at the point of this video, should be at 50,000, so, so congrats to you, John, as well. Um, I know we've done collaborations, and I know you've helped me and stuff like that, so I appreciate all the people that have helped me, not just the viewers, other YouTubers, uh, everyone who's bought from me, people that are just helping me do everything at this point. My wife, I, I mean, wow. I got this far into that and didn't thank my own wife. I'm gonna hear about that. Uh, I should be thanking my puppies, because without them, how do you de-stress if you don't have sassy? I mean, sassy is trained in reviewing lights. So, I mean, that's just lucky. How often do you adopt a dog and they have a skill set that complements your business? I mean, that was lucky. Uh, and then I've got Wincy and all the other people that have helped me. So, genuinely, thank you guys. It's been super fun and I look forward to doing a ton more. And hopefully, we're doing this at 100,000 too. Going, check it out, I got my silver play button. But who knows, only you guys can really know and uh, thanks to everyone that helps out in the comments, it's helping each other. I find the brand and whatever we're building to be very important and that's what drives me, seeing the positivity around Aquarium Co-op. So thank you again and we'll see you in the live stream. Yes, yes! I get attempt number two. I'm so excited. So working on the studio tank, getting them set up. Ooh, all the 
All the hair on my neck just stood up. I'm that excited. Kind of a weird feeling there. But what you guys don't know, I shot a video of the entire fish room last week and I cut some footage out because it just turned out to be nothing, right? Basically, I thought the turtles were digging around, right? You're thinking, okay, yeah, and then I couldn't find any eggs. I'm going, nah. Uh, but I've been watching this and here I am. And so what had happened is I saw the wood had moved. And I couldn't find any eggs and I'm just walking back and forth and I go, I saw a turtle up here again, which they're almost never up there like this and I kept seeing sand and then what do you know here's a couple of turtle eggs yeah that's what I'm talking about right there so I get another attempt these ones are much bigger I don't even want to touch them yet but what I do know is time to get the incubator set up well I mean it's already set up but time to uh, you know remove these smaller eggs and so like now I think we'll all be let me if I, if I pull this out here so when we look at these eggs right here that never hatched, look at the size comparison here. I'm gonna do, you know, these were never fertile, but look at like the size difference there. To me, those other ones are almost twice as big. Those things are ginormous in comparison. So hoping those are fertile and hopefully I've caught them soon enough. Like for all I know, they just got laid 10 seconds ago, or maybe 10 hours ago, I don't know. So I'm gonna, you know, move forward with it and uh, see what I can come up with. So yeah, I'm super duper excited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully get this, how much water's in here? Not a lot of water, I need to get a little bit of water in here, make it a little bit more moist, uh, and then I'm gonna move well, I just know they're not fertile. I need to figure out something I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna set them right here for right now. Uh, but I do need to get a little bit of water in here. So the goal is you get the sand wet, just like this. And then what you wanna do is pour off all the excess water because you don't want them to suffocate or anything like that. So you just want it to be moist. So there you go, we've got wet sand. Now I'm gonna carefully move them. So with turtle eggs, it's important to not change the orientation. So I need to lift them up how they are and move them and put them back down. I can't flip them over, I can't roll them. I definitely don't wanna drop them. Gotta be very careful. I'm gonna just pick it up, just like that. And I'm gonna put it, you know, you wanna get it just a little bit in there. Just like that. So we've got one egg in there. I'm going to grab the other egg. And there will be egg number two. Just like that. We're going to put the top back on them. We're going to get them in there. We're going to incubate them. Man, I feel like I'm going to try and candle them because I didn't do that last time. So let me get the camera set up and see if we can see anything. So, I've got my phone here, and the goal is you hold them without turning them up to a light and see if you can see anything. It's kind of just a milky amber color. I don't see a lot of anything yet that I'm not sure we're gonna get much out of it today. Just kind of an amber glow to them in the center of the egg. So hopefully those are fertile. And if I take a look at these eggs that never hatch, much smaller, they're basically amber color all the way, so I'm not sure. I've never candled that many turtle eggs, but that's what we've got going on right there. You know, now I've got a basis on video what it looked like today, and if we look in on three, four weeks from now, and it looks different, we know, oh, they're probably moving right along. So 90 days from today, hopefully I'll be showing you baby turtles. Last time didn't go so well, eggs were a lot smaller. I'm hoping that's all you can do, really. If you guys haven't already checked out the whole fish room tour video, that's where we cut that part out of because we didn't have any eggs, so it didn't make any sense. And a couple days later, we have eggs. So I'm super duper pumped. Check out that video, it'll be at the end. We'll put an annotation up there. If you haven't subscribed yet, check us out. We're doing fun stuff all the time. At least I think it's fun, and at least 40,000 other people think it's pretty fun. So we got the podcast, we've got live stream uh, every Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm sure there'll be more turtle content, turtle updates, subscribe if you're just into turtles. I still have other turtles. I've got Diamondback Terrapin, I've got Hypo Bumblebee Red Eared Slider. You can see that in the fish room tour if you haven't seen that already. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Good morning, everyone. I'm standing out in a blizzard, essentially. I gotta go to the airport because I gotta pick stuff up. So, you know, when 
he saw that other video that said, oh, I gotta go to the airport, it's snowing. Guess what? It's snowing. I can't really show you because it's dark and it's cold and I gotta get in the car, but wish me luck. This is what I gotta do to get black worms and fish, so here I go.